And is it true that you are mistaken for Daniel Radcliffe? It happens a lot. And he's mistaken for me and apparently signs my name. <laughs> because cheeky. Yeah, apparently. Well, it saves you the time. You're busy. <laughs> it is, I was in an elevator once. This was many years ago. But I was in an elevator. And you know that thing when you're in an elevator with one other person and there's that kind of awkward silence? Yes. And you're both kind of looking busy doing that, like, at the buttons and <laughs> at the phone. And, you know, and so there was that. And I could tell that this, by this guy's energy that he wanted to say something. And he was working it up, working it up, working it up. And then all of a sudden, he burst out and said, Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> so funny. Well, let's see how it could happen. Let's have a, a look at some examples. There you are. Now, turn full face. Smile. <laughs> it's not... Do you know what I mean? I do sort of see it. Yeah. Let's, try, let's try another one. Let's try another one. Okay, turn to the side. <laughs> That's not so good. Uh, let's see one more. Okay. <laughs> help him out. Help him out. Help, help him out, Kim. It's wonderful, though. I mean, it, you know, any time an actor makes a brave decision in a, in a step in a different direction, I think it's... I applaud that. And, and of course, acting isn't everything you do. You've got a, um, a record label. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've just started this record label called Which seems a bit... Simeon Records. Where did that come from? I mean, it does seem a bit like, I'll start a record label. <laughs> um, I'm a huge fan of music, and I have been for years and years. <clears throat> so it just came out of that. I really wanted to be involved in some way, and I thought the best way to be involved would, would be to start a small label and oh. find bands that I love and believe in and, and put records out, you know? This band, Eloise and the Savoir Fair, is sort of the first signed band that is, has not been signed before. And ladies and gentlemen, Eloise and the Savoir Fair are going to be here later, delighting us in the music <laughs> No, they're really cool. Uh, listen, it's that time of the year again. It's Oscars time. The movie industry is equivalent of the Oscars. <laughs> now, <laughs> you guys, have you been... I mean, uh, you've both been to the Oscars, I'm sure. Mm. Yes, yeah. yes. And have you presented at the Oscars? Have you presented the, you presented the Golden Globes Golden and the Emmys? And the Oscars, yeah. I've done oh, you presented yeah. the Oscars? Years and years ago, yeah. Really? Oh, years ago! Well, I was really young. I was, I was like 13, and it was the first time I'd ever been to the Oscars. And I presented the award for Best Visual Effects. And it was amazing, it, you know, having grown up watching that show and being that young and kind of seeing there the man. Oh, it was yeah. amazing. Yeah. Or having not grown up watching that show. You were 13. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah right. You were 13. Yeah, exactly. Um, and what, did, did you get one of those terrible, the, the, you know, those things they give you to read out? You know, kind of about, you know, film is like a spider's web. Each strand of silk delicately made by the actors. It is, you know, one of those. Yeah, yeah. mine was about visual effects. It was quite flowery, if I remember correctly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and at 13, you probably didn't have the courage to kind of go, I'm not saying this. <laughs> so no. Because like, mm, yeah. mm, yeah. uh, they are, they're kind of weird events. I mean, do you enjoy them? It's work, you know. Mm. I mean, it's fun. For, well, for me, it's more of a frock thing and the hair and makeup, less for you. I mean, the guys just wear the suits. And it's fun to be there, uh, especially if you're nominated. It's really thrilling. But it's exhausting. I mean, you, you, you get there and, uh, you know, there's so many people to talk to. There's so much excitement. You're so nervous. And if you have to present and you're nominated, you're doubly nervous because oh, you don't want to get up there and go blah, 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 blah. And uh, then you, you lose or win. And it's, it's, a, it's a very kind of stressful night. But at the end of it, you think, oh, God, thank God it's over. Mm. And a lot of pressure. Because, it, I mean, it's bad here. But in America... You've, like, got so many more magazines with pages and pages and pages of red carpet fashion and, you know, the hit, stress, miss, glamour yes, do, yes, glamour do. Yes, yes, so, yes. Uh, Hair, makeup, check, you know, act, yeah. oh, bleh, just like you were doing with that buzzer. They do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being on speed dating, you but know. But you seem to come out of it pretty well overall, don't you? I had one particularly bad situation. I, I, you know, I, I just on a, been on a vacation and I, I felt so like I didn't want to wear a lot of makeup. I don't like to wear a lot of makeup. So I thought I just wanted more of a sun-kissed look. So my makeup artist put on this sort of ready tan. And she put it, she, she'd never done it before and she read it. She said, it seems very easy. She put it on my face and then she took it off for about five minutes. And then I got to the awards 
and I was an orange. <laughs> <laughs> and I got it, and my, my agent looked at me and she said, what have you done? I said, what do you mean? She said, nothing, you look great. At the end of the evening, oh, she said to me, I'm so glad you didn't win because it would have been so horrible up there. Oh. <laughs> and I didn't really know until I got back to the hotel room and I went, ah! <laughs> Nobody just, told me. It just got darker and oh orange. You know those tans, those mm. instant tans. They had orange, and I'd never done it before. It See, it's went. like back to Britney Spears. No one to tell you. You know, Kim, have a wash. Exactly. <laughs> and they made an episode of it when she gets the face peel. You know, that, that was that was what happened because I love that going, episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, now listen, talking of um, acting and, and things like this, we we get emails here, and I. I had a series of emails from a lady called Sue Allery. Now, Sue, she uh, is the manager of Essex Horse and Pony Sanctuary. P stick with me on this. <laughs> um, now, she believes, and then this is serious, she genuinely believes that they've got this amazing Shetland pony there called Rory. Uh, very talented, and uh, she believes he, he deserves an agent, and could, it says here, believe he will follow in the footsteps of Black Beauty and Lassie the Dog. Okay. Uh, Sue Allery is in our audience. The, oh, there's Sue. Hello, Sue. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. Very well. And this is Norma with you. Yes, sir. Hi, Norma. <laughs> Hello. Uh, so, Sue, talk us through um, what makes Rory so special. Um, he doesn't think he's a pony. He's, uh, sorry, I'm a bit croaky. Little he, horse. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, so, yeah, you're a little croaky. So he doesn't think he's a horse. He thinks he's a dog. A dog? Yeah. <laughs> he runs after balls, he brings balls back, he rolls Plays over, doesn't he? Plays with the frisbee. Yeah. Collects sticks. Right. Well, now, this, I was delighted by, by your email and thought of this little horse who, who could do dog tricks. So, uh, they're in Essex. Obviously, I couldn't go myself. So, um, I said... <laughs> We work on the show. Always kidding. Uh, I sent Alan and Sam down to uh, the horse sanctuary uh, to do some, uh, just film some clips, because obviously we couldn't bring Rory here. So, to get clips of him doing the things. So, uh, I've got a clip here of Rory uh, chasing a ball like a dog. Here we go. Get the ball. There you go, Rory. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. No, that's my fault. Clearly the wrong clip. Hang on. Uh, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Here we go. Must be this one. Here we go. Okay, yeah, there. Mad about the ball. Chase the ball. Good roar. No. <laughs> All right, look, this one, I know for sure he gets the ball. He definitely gets the ball in this one. He definitely gets the ball in this one. Here he comes, and boom. <laughs> So listen, the, Sam and Alan, they realised oh, the dog thing wasn't going very well. They thought, Graham might be angry if we come back with nothing. So they thought, he can't do dog things today. He was having an off dog day. <laughs> so uh, we'll get him to do something nice and horsey. So uh, they brought him inside to get him to do a bit of uh, horse jumping. And this is very, very cute, because look, it's a little horse jump with a little horse. Uh, here he goes. La, 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 hoop, la, hoop. <laughs> <laughs> Alan who works on this show, he's not a quitter. He's not a quitter. He thought, I will make this horse do something. He had a secret weapon. He we had to come back with something. He had a secret weapon. <laughs> Look, it's a carrot. <laughs> All right, so he gets Rory to stay. Okay, there you go. Good, Rory. Stay. Stay. Okay, he's staying. Okay. Now, now, when he calls him, this is bound to work because what horse can resist a carrot? Here we go. So, here we're. <laughs> so keen on Alan's orange penis. Uh, <laughs> so listen, we love honestly, I'm 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 mocking Sue Norman, but I Rory is he's very sweet and he, he I think he does have star quality. 
He does have star quality. So we thought, since Rory is such a cute little horse, and since the Oscars are upon us, we'd give Rory the chance to win a film award of his own. So come with us now as Kim Cattrall introduces the Grahams. Oh, you go. Good evening, everyone. Film is the magic prism through which we view our scattered memories, hopes, and dreams. The nominations for best performance by a horse are Black Beauty, Boo! Sea Biscuit, Boo! Amy Winehouse. And Rory the Horse. Yay! And the award, ladies and gentlemen, goes to. Oh my God! It's a Rory! It's Rory the Horse, everybody! Hooray! Come on, Rory! Hello, I'm very flattered to win this award. <laughs> I'd like to thank my agent, my manager, the guy who hoses the shit out of my stable. <laughs> I'm just a horse from a pony sanctuary that had a dream. <laughs> For now, we'll leave you with the Ligers. Tip at the top, it's Eloise and Savoir Faire! It's so New York. It's so New York. It's brilliant. Yeah, because you're from New York. 
Yes. Because yes. now, mm -hmm. this, now what, what's happening now, this is our, our kind of cool down. Oh, uh, which, phase this now? is our VOD, uh, VOD cast. <laughs> No, apparently it's not a podcast, I'm an idiot. Uh, it's a podcast, and uh, it's also uh, on the extended show on, on Sunday nights. So, uh, so tell me, Eloise, how did, how did Elijah find you? Uh, through a mutual friend. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, obviously, very nice to have a manager and all that on the, on the record table, but is that any awkward that your manager is an international film star? Is he not a bit busy? Yeah, yeah, but, but I have to say that Elijah does return my phone calls. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't just look on the caller ID. He's like, ah, oh, it's her again, you know. Silence that one. He does, actually. And you guys, are, you're, you're going to take uh, Eloise and Savoir Faire into, uh, into the studio later this year? Yes, yes. There will be a full length this year. We've, they've done a, a single slash EP uh, that should come out soon, but then the full length will do, like, probably in the summertime. And I feel and there is a band as well, just to make that perfectly clear. There is a band that couldn't be here. Because they're in New York. Yes, exactly. And we were too tight to bring them. Because <laughs> you, you do a weekly gig, and this is awful, because this show's clashed with your weekly gig, hasn't it? Yeah, it was a little awkward, but we couldn't say no. Right? <laughs> I mean, I was like, sorry. Hey, no, I'm it's American. shiny London floor. Yeah. So where's your gig normally? Well, it's just, we're doing, like, a month-long residency at oh, this no. club. No, it was York. only a month, and with, oh. But it's okay. Okay. It's really okay. What the Do you have a tattoo, Eloise? No. Now, you obviously do, don't you? Elijah, look at you. <laughs> oh, yeah, hi. <laughs> yes. Uh, I thought you were looking at Joe, because Joe's... Yeah. Oh, Joe clearly has tattoos. I don't need to ask him. I can see them. <laughs> right. Uh, well, uh, and you have... A, do you have tattoos? Oh, don't worry, I'm not... Uh, don't uh, worry, I'm not going to uh, see no, them. I, no, I don't, actually. No, you don't? Oh, fair no. enough. All right, fair enough. Well, now, uh, Joe has many a tattoo. This guy... Is your name Dane? Dane. Now, you might have seen this guy in the paper. This is Dane, who... And so many questions arise here. But if he leans forward, he has a full English breakfast <laughs> tattooed on his head. <laughs> OK, now, how old are you? 19. 19. Mm. That's a lot of life ahead of you. <laughs> now, um, <laughs> will your, if you wanted to, and it's lovely, why would you want to? But should you want to cover it over, can you grow your hair? Yeah. You could. Yeah. All right. But then when you're older and your hair falls out, it'll come as a big surprise then. Oh, you love it. oh I forgot I had that. You'll go to the doctor. What's this? It's a full English breakfast. Can you see it there? Lovely. Did you think they were penises the whole way through the show? <laughs> it's actually two sausages. That's a rasher. It's got a nice slice of tomato there, some beans, and, uh, and some undercooked eggs. Uh, and now, you're Dane, and what's your name? Blaine. Blaine? Indeed. Are you just making these names up? <laughs> <laughs> what will I say? Rhymes with Dane Plain. Uh, and you did it? I did, yes. Right. And uh, was it his idea? Or? No, it was my idea. I, I put an advert in a newspaper and it went out to all the local newspapers nationwide and he, he kindly answered. Did he pay you to do this? No. Right. Okay. <laughs> but it's a great, it's a lovely thing. It is a work of art. I mean, do pe presumably people now recognise you. You're the guy with the... Yeah, the it's quite strange, really, ..the yeah. breakfast on your head. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, walk down the street and random people are, like, grabbing your head and looking at it. So. Thinking it is food and they want to eat you. <laughs> and, and, and have you had other people come in now? Oh, it, it's kick-started quite a trend now. I'm, um, in about three weeks' time, I'm doing a nine-inch pizza on the back of somebody's head. I wonder what he was going to say there, didn't you? <laughs> they were so impressed by the two links of sausage. <laughs> uh, a nine-inch pizza? Indeed, with the topping of his choice. Uh, day before yesterday, somebody asked me if, if the, I could do a, a Sunday roast for them. <laughs> On their head. Absolutely. My question is, what if you're in a desert and you have a mirror and no food and you can actually look... Do you eat your own head? <laughs> it would drive you mad, wouldn't it? It would. Being hung... Staring, staring at you. It would make you hungry. <laughs> Dane, no. Desert? Why would I be there? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live, Dane? Coventry. Coventry. Well, um, now... <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. do you have parents? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, they could be dead. I didn't want to wander into a cul-de-sac of sadness, did I? <laughs> what do your parents think? They're dead, oh, no. Graham. <laughs> uh, so what did they say? I don't know yet. I, don't know. I haven't spoken to them since it's been done. OK. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a psychic, but I can think of some of the things they might say. <laughs> and do you have a job? 
No, not at the minute, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd say a hat, big hat. That'd be a good idea. You, you have other tattoos. Yeah. What else do you have? Uh, crucifix and... Uh, the personal one and a... Uh, what's that one? It's my name. Oh, right. That's handy. Uh, <laughs> Never quite understand that. But anyway, listen. Uh, well done uh, to to Blaine, to Blaine and Dane and his big breakfast. Well done to you guys. Very good. <laughs>